So I wasn't planning on buying any bags at all on this trip. Um, so I didn't go into Chanel. But um, since I had the appointment to see if they could replace the chains for my 2.55, I figured I should maybe see if they have the slim bags that I saw on the website. They're in black tweed. Um, normally, the SA told me that they are all out of stock, but I just wanted to kind of try my luck and see if there are any returns. So I'm waiting for my appointment at Chanel at 19 Rue Cambon. I booked an appointment to see if they can maybe replate the golden chains on my Chanel reissue. It's from 2012, so um, the chain has gotten a little bit faded. You can see the gold has kind of faded off. So I don't know if there's something they can do about it. So I booked the appointment on the Chanel app. It was actually very easy and I highly recommend it. I'm sitting on the third floor of the Rue Cambon store. So I met the, um, uh, the consultant and she had advised me to wait a few more years because they are still pretty um, well maintained and she said that she can see that um, the gold has faded a little bit but um, it's not everywhere so she, um, she advised me to kind of change up the positions of how I carry the bag um, to make it more even and then maybe in a few years I can change the tra chains and along with the grommets and um, the, this hardware here um, all together and she said the cost for changing the chains is 235 euros and it takes um, a few months so she said I think she said three months so I decided to take her advice and wait though the real reason is that I'm just not ready to part with my bag for three months maybe I'll regret later I'm just really admiring these little cute signs in Paris. So in the Musée Carnaval, which is the Museum of Art in Paris, they have um, a permanent collection of these signage um, in the city of Paris throughout um, kind of 1900s to modern times, and they're really beautiful collection. This one here, I, I really like. It's really cute. I really like this little street here full of restaurants and cafes and bars. And I am walking to the Japanese uh, pastry shop that I featured in one of my older videos. It's one of my favorite places in Paris. And here they have a Japanese ramen place, which is pretty famous. So this Frisier is reduced in sugar and fat and enriched in fiber. So we can be pretty healthy eating it. So we're just waiting out the rain in Jardin du Luxembourg and in the background is my husband, my silly husband trying to pretend this is the intro scene of the movie Midnight in Paris. If you have seen it, you will probably know what I mean. Rainy days are not really my favorite, but I guess Paris has a different kind of charm when it's raining. Well, Central Park has a boat pond, and we have a boat pond here in Jardin du Luxembourg. So I just exited the back of the Ritz and this is their um, patisserie kind of little boutique. Yeah. 
So when they first started this patisserie, they had a little temporary stand out front by the front entrance of the Ritz, and they just mo moved it to this permanent space at the back of the Ritz. A lot of people actually don't know that it's here, so it's not super crowded. Um, you don't get a lot of foot traffic on the street, which is um, kind of great in a way. I highly recommend you checking it out. Look, even if you don't like the sugar-loaded pastries, at least try the croissants. These are really fancy croissants and they only cost 4 euros. In New York, for $4.50, you can get a very, very normal looking croissant. And in Paris, you can get one from the Ritz. These glazed madeleines look too good. I think I can sit here all day long. Having a very light lunch with the salmon sandwich and technically we're at the Ritz so this is no ordinary salmon sandwich. Instead of ordinary bread, we have a kind of buckwheat flour. It's um, what they call sarrasin. So if you go to a crepe restaurant in Paris or in France, you will encounter this vocabulary a lot. Sarrasin, which really means buckwheat. Um, as opposed to normal wheat. So most of your uh, savory crepes in France are actually made of buckwheat and they use the normal wheat for um, dessert crepes mostly and that's what they call crepe de froment. And in North America, I think most of our crepes that we're used to are actually crepe de froment. Um, so just a little fun fact. And so I'm back home. I did get a few things from Ritz Le Comtois to go. So I got um, a, um, it's all wrapped up, but um, this is supposed to be the long uh, pain au chocolat um, that I showed you guys. It's a very long one uh, and it doesn't look like a usual pain au chocolat, but it looked really good. And I got a few of these glazed madeleines. Um, one of them is the uh, blueberry violet. I think it's a flower, kind of cloud flower. And it, I've got also a classic one and also one that's um, rose and raspberry. So can't wait to try those. And then I have also got this, um, this one right here. I love the packaging. Um, this raspberry tart. It looked just too good to pass up. So even though I'm not supposed to have a lot of dessert right now because um, my voice is a little bit coarse, you can probably hear that. Um, I was coughing for quite a while, so. Um, but it just looked really good, so I had to try it. Maybe I'll just take a few bites and then I'll get my husband to eat the rest. So I'm ready to take a bite at the pan au chocolat. It's very well wrapped. Okay, so here's what it looks like up close. It's not as elegant as when it was sitting on the display at Le Comtois, but I think it's going to taste amazing. So this is after the first bite. It's very crispy. The chocolate is very crispy, and I like how um, kind of moist and chewy on the inside better lighting here to see the inside up close i really like the texture so i find the glazed madeleines to be a little too sweet for my liking they are very good though but they are just um really really sweet i think this is one of the best raspberry tarts we've tasted so this is the part of paris that's um a little bit more local than the ones that i've been used to there are very few tourists here um, and um, I think most tourists probably don't even come near here so I came here especially for this uh, leather shop um, because my husband somehow discovered it um, by accident and I just decided to come and check it out so this is a leather atelier that mainly makes equestrian products but since they are known for their leather and craftsmanship, they also make um, a few other items like belts and bags. They source their leather from four tanneries 
all in France, and they work with、um, European artisans. Many of them are French. Some of them are Spanish and German and Swiss as well,、um, to make these beautiful handmade、um, handbags. And I have to say that this particular style of handbag looks very very Parisian. It's got this like I don't really care kind of vibe. Um, it's very nonchalant. Like you can just throw it on any day of the week. You're not really thinking about where you're going. You're not even kind of caring what people think of you. You're just like going where you're going, and you you're kind of like, well, I don't really care. I'm Parisian. So they also make riding boots, of course, but these are like real riding boots. They're not like the Hermes kind of riding boots. Like you know what I mean. Um, I kind of wish that they make like fashion riding boots. So I really came into the store to get a belt for my husband, because he goes through belts like crazy,、um, and these look like pretty sturdy,、um, hard wearing belts. So I'm gonna try that. So just before I left the store, I found this darling oversized tote bag. I think it looks super cool. So when you hold this bag in your hands and you feel the leather, you can feel that it's really quality leather. So their leather is from the same tannery that、um, belongs to Chanel、um, in Alsace, France.、Um, this is the Barrenia kind of leather.、Um, so it's like the saddle leather. It's going to patina over time very beautifully. And look at these beautiful contrast stitching. Um, because of the equestrian roots, they use the、um, the same technique as Hermes. It, I think it's called the、uh, saddle stitching. So they use kind of two needles at the same time. It's got two slip pockets, one on each side, and I love how the bag sits on your body. It looks really cool. I think it would be a great airport bag because of how roomy it is, and it's super low key. So I bought the belt for my husband. I also really, really, really loved that bag that I tried on. It was so beautiful. It was、um, 785 or 95 euros,、uh, but you get the tax refund.、Um, it's a little bit pricey, but it's like not like luxury brands pricey for that kind of quality. I have to sleep on it, but I really, really like that bag. So I'm standing on Pont Neuf, which is the oldest bridge in Paris. And over there, you've got La Samaritaine, which is a department store, and it's a historical building as well. I just want to take a look at the water quality and see if they've improved because they're supposed to host the Olympics in 2024, which is in one year's time, and they've been investing, I think. A lot of money, like two billion something, in cleaning up the water quality so that it's swimmable, which is、um, unprecedented because the river hasn't been swimmable since like historical times, and、um, it's really a monumental effort that they are putting in to clean up the river. I can't say that I can see the difference right now. But hopefully they'll be able to clean it up in time for the Olympics. I've got tickets to see the swimming event, and I'm really looking forward to it. I really hope that I can see actual people swimming in this river in one year's time. I really like this bridge. It's got a lot of character. And my husband and I took our engagement photo shoot.、Um, this is one of the locations where we took the photo shoot in. And、um, at, on that day, I think the traffic was closed, and we were able to kind of walk in the middle of this bridge. It was a nice, really nice photo shoot. Thank you very much for watching till the end. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.